I searched for a new bike and I knew I needed something different. I didn't need a racer nor another mountain bike. I needed something special, something to enjoy rides with the family or maybe even commute. After a lot of soul searching and many, many hours browsing the internet, I finally decided on a steel bike with disc brakes. But it seems like I wasn't the only one looking for a steel bike with disc brakes because everywhere that I look, the prices were high until I finally found my answer. Meet the L train by Brilliant. The bicycle took a whole month for it to be delivered. Well, at the time they didn't have frames with disc brakes and I knew I wanted the disc brakes. I have no reason why, I just wanted disc brakes. After what it felt like an eternity, my bicycle finally arrived and of course I couldn't wait so I had to put it together. The bicycle came halfway assembled and it really wasn't that hard to put together, especially if you don't put the fork the wrong way out. After the bicycle was put together, it couldn't wait. It was like Avatar, like that movie you know where the dragons or what was it, some type of flying creature was ready to fly. So I had to go for my first ride immediately. So I went out. I did that just to crash down the corner. You see, I forgot to fully get the fork tightened to the stem. So I was riding without handlebars for a second there until I landed on my face. So I quickly came back with the pride between my legs and the L train by my side. The moral of the story. Make sure to have your bike checked by your local bike shop or have them build it. So a couple minutes later and a few scratches after I was finally ready to go again. And oh was it something special. The triple batted chromoly frame together with the belt drive and the internal hub were super smooth. They look amazing. If you pair that together with the leather looking seat and the leather looking handlebars which are functional yet stylish, it turns into a real package. Did I even mention the disc brakes? They do work perfectly, they're hydraulic and um, it feels like it's a nod to the past while looking at the future. My dog loved it. I don't think he really minded what bike I was going on. The bicycle felt amazing on those trails. I rode it to the park, I rode it to work, I rode it for coffee, I rode it to Costco, I rode it in the streets, I rode it on the sidewalks, I rode it everywhere. And yes, of course, I had to buy me a little trailer so I can bring the little one along. Every single time that we drove through the trails, there was that little dirt trail calling my name every time. One day I would take advantage of it. Don't get me wrong, as much as I praise this bike, it's not perfect in any means. For example, I still am not able to get it into a steep angle. I just don't feel confident. I don't know if it's the tires or the geometry or maybe something else. Or maybe, however unlikely, it's me. The disc brakes, for example, don't have the same single finger stopping power as my full suspension mountain bike. But maybe that is asking too much from this bike. They do work really well and they do their job. And yes, even though you are in a triple batted steel bike, it is still heavy and you do feel the weight. But it really disappears after a few moments riding on it. But the only real problem that I have with this bike is this. All right, so this is the problem that I found and it might be nothing at all, but still it doesn't have enough space or maybe enough clearance for me to put my mat cover and also the trailer. Um, I know it should be a very easy fix. I just need to expand this area a little more or maybe um, 
I don't know, attach it from right over here in the break area and, and it should have easy solutions. That is the main problem that I have with the bicycle. The day has finally arrived. The day to take on that trail. It's time to park the bike, park the dog, and get rid of any extra weight. Hit the trail and have a little alone time. Yes, this bike was not my full suspension mountain bike, nor was it my trail bike, but it can handle the off-road perfectly fine. I even got to use my disc brakes after riding through a paddle and getting my wheels full of mud. My stopping power was not hindered by the mud, it was just what it was meant to do. So to recap, we have leather looking handlebars with a matching leather looking seat, very comfortable. We have a set of 700cc aluminum double wall rims. It comes with a set of hydraulic brakes. It comes with a set of aluminum pegs. It has a triple batted steel frame. This basket is something that I added, very useful for going to the store or for carrying my dog. This is another part that I added as well, the mud guards. Extremely useful for not putting mud into my cargo. And wait, we haven't gotten to the start of the show yet. This is right here what got me to purchase this bike. The Bell Driven Gates Drive. It's very quiet and very comfortable to ride with. And it comes with the star of the show, the Shimano Alpine internal drive hop system. It has eight speeds all right here. Every single shift that I make on it is smooth and it's internal. It has zero maintenance. You see, once you bring this whole package as a whole with the leather looking seat, with the leather looking handlebars, with the uh, steel Komoli frame, with the 700cc um, frames in the internal hub and the belt drive system, it makes this for a very unique bike. I really love riding this one and I really like going to the parks and knowing that I'm in something special. If you want to learn what I'm talking about, follow the link below so you can go ahead and get your own L train. Highly recommend it. So who is this bike for? Well, we can try to answer that question by starting on who is this bike not for. This bike's not for the bike snobs. This is not a Reynolds frame with a Shimano brake power, with a single finger stopping power, uh, with a that is going to save you a thousandth of a second in a race. This is a bike for you and me. This is a bike from the standard Joe or for somebody who the purpose of this ride is just to enjoy it. It's not to save a few seconds. It's not to be the fastest. It's not to be the slowest. It's a do it all bike. And I think it does that job wonderfully. It doesn't excel on anything specifically, but that's what it is so beautiful about it does its job really really well and the maintenance on it is definitely on a zero level right now you know this bike is probably for a commuter it's probably for a father like myself or a brand new father it's probably for somebody who is not much into cycling and just wants to learn to enjoy the 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 trip just wants to learn to enjoy the lifestyle is for somebody who will use it as a commuter as a everyday bike because it's a zero nonsense bicycle with everything that you need and nothing that you don't it's not a perfect bike in any means it's not the best bike but i think that's what makes it so unique it's the perfect bike because it does everything well it is not it doesn't concentrate in one single thing it doesn't do only one thing it does everything it's a beautiful everyday bike if you are interested on in this bike go ahead and follow the link in the description so you can go ahead and purchase your L train it is highly recommended